So whether it's a pandemic or it's any other crisis or challenge that you're going through in life, it's so important to stay above the line. We've talked in the past about staying above the line and uh, I can certainly offer you other resources that will explain that in greater depth and, and I can do so over the next number of days. But let me talk about why it is so important to stay above the line. That is the place where in life you're the most creative, you're innovative, you're able to collaborate, and that's where you get the connections between the people. That's where teams come together, is when they are above the line. So the question is, how do you stay above the line? Above the line is all about being open and curious and committed to learning. So let's talk about learning, because learning is the cornerstone, I believe, of staying above the line. But what does it mean to learn? Learning comes in three stages. It starts with awareness, then responsibility, and ultimately confidence. Let me explain a little bit more. There's no way that you will learn anything unless you become aware, aware of what's not working, aware of what is working, unless we are gathering data, gathering insights uh, from wherever. And sometimes we have enough self-awareness, but herein lies one of the greatest challenges in life is this thing called self-awareness. When you observe people that are a little bit dysfunctional, we often suggest that they don't have enough self-awareness. And unless you are humble and willing to be vulnerable, you're not willing to go to others and learn what needs to be learned. You're not willing to subject yourself to input from other people. And that's a problem. Because unless you become aware, it's hard to move on to the next stage. Because if you're not aware, you're not going to think anything's wrong. You're not going to think you need to make any changes. But once you become aware that what you're doing is not delivering the results that you ultimately want, then you've got to make a decision to do something different. And that's where responsibility comes in. And responsibility is kind of like ownership. Unless you take ownership and change something, the awareness is meaningless. You become aware that something needs to change unless you change it and take responsibility, nothing's gonna change. But here's the beauty, is when we own it and we do something different, initially it's hard. All change tends to be hard. It's the transition from one place to the next that is hard. But everything's easy when we know how. But until we know how, it's hard. But that's where confidence comes in, because that's when it starts to get easy. We become aware, we take ownership and responsibility, we do it more and more, it becomes easier, and we gain confidence and become second nature. People often say that there are, well, this is the three stages of learning, there are four different stages of, uh, of capability, or um, let me put, just put it this way and break it down. Initially, we started off as uh, being the unconscious incompetent. We don't know what we don't know. But then we gain awareness and we go, man, I don't know. I am the, uh, I'm the conscious incompetent. I'm aware that I'm not able. But then I take responsibility and I become the conscious uh, competent. I'm aware, I'm able to do it. I'm becoming better at what I'm doing, and the more that I do it, the more I gain confidence, and I become the unconscious competent. Think of it just like when you're driving. When you learn to drive, you got to gain a lot of awareness of a lot of things, and it's scary, but you know that you don't know how to do it. And as you gain uh, confidence with it, uh, you take responsibility, you, you start to do the things that are necessary, all of a sudden it, it's, it's still stressful, but you're becoming better as, as a driver. And then there comes the day when all of a sudden you went from A to B, and you didn't even think about how you got there, and you were the unconscious competent. But it takes time, it takes awareness, it takes ownership over the things that are working or not working. 
and then things start to work better. So whether it is a, um, a pandemic or any other challenge, stay committed to learning. Keep yourself above the line, just like it suggests, above the line, more positive, open and curious so that you can remain creative, innovative, collaborate better with your team, connect better with your team, and produce better results as a team. That's the essence of leadership. Leaders help your team to stay committed to learning and help to build awareness, help them to gain self-awareness, but where self-awareness isn't enough, help them to gain awareness from others. And that's the tip of the day to become a better team and to perform better.